I'm going to say this, since this is going to be our Grammy episode. Mm -hmm. You know, the Grammys tweet mistweeted. Oh, great segue. Look at you get your segue on. Good. <laughs> I've been working on it. I, I got to hang with the big dogs. We got to hang with them. <laughs> you know, the Grammys mistweeted that uh, Barbie World uh, with Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice won best song. And I was watching the, the live stream of the non was like, that ain't what happened. <laughs> that ain't what happened. I heard, I heard Killer Mike. That's all I know. So when I saw that tweet, I thought maybe it was photoshopped. And somebody, you know, so immediately that's where my mind went. Well, no. Also on their website, and you checked, it said that they won. Now, I have a question for you. Do you believe or do you think that Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice probably really run that category? But this past week's antics, they went in last minute and changed their mind. Do you think that's a possibility? Because no, it's one thing to no. miss tweet something. I think, somebody, I think the, the digital marketing department was trying to get some engagement. But see, I feel like the engagement, all it is, is that you are stirring up the bars. Because people really aren't talking about this like they should be. But look. The barbs are good money. I know they've been shitting on us and trying to come at us. They've been shitting they, on me because they don't. They. I feel like, like I told you, come hard. I mean, they call me a hoe on the stroll. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't. I don't think they told me. What was they going? Because, like, I literally was like, "Hey, <laughs> then we could get Edgy Martinez to be, you know, back on hey, the but, song." Hey, people was loving the Contigo. Like, whoa, Contigo! I heard that in the group. <laughs> Niggas, cause, cause niggas love Contigo. <laughs> but I don't. I, I mean, but, I mean, maybe they could have won. But also, is Nicki Minaj even at the Grammys? No, but I'm only saying that because if 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 it were just the the missed tweet, if it was the tweet, I, I don't know, it was know. the it was the website that kind of I was like, damn. But then no. in hindsight. It would have been the most horrible song comparatively, like the where we are is a, a like it would be horrible for rap. And I don't care what y'all look, y'all already call me a hoe on the stroll. The Nicki Minaj fans, I'm a hoe on the stroll. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I got my my ass cheeks out, cut out uh in the you back. Got you know? on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because no, I'm not, like really think about it from this perspective though. Like mm -hmm. I'm thinking of it from where I think that we, it could have been a possibility because only because that's it. The song was everywhere, and I'm thinking about it, and I and I don't know, and I could potentially just be thinking about it from a like a TikTok perspective because I felt I to be completely honest, I felt like that song was bigger than the the Billy Eilish song that got a couple of awards because the, uh, the Barbie song. Yeah, the the other the the, the slow song, J and, and that's just my honest opinion. And and, and like I, cause I can give credit where credit is due, but I I really it was the website being updated incorrectly that leads me to believe that initially that could have been their win, and then it would have been a, a win for Ice Spice as well, and then. I know, I know what you're saying. I know I got you, friend. But but this is this is a lesson here. Let's say hypothetically, mm -hmm. conspiracy theories that this could be true. Let's let's say this is true. Okay. I want everybody to understand that for every action that there is a there is a reaction. Basic science, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people don't see what could happen how it can alter and affect things that could be coming toward them yes you block blessings you block connections relationships and this is if this is true this is a prime example of that and i and i'm this is not talking down or bad because it's, it's really not and and if this is the case do i think it's fucked up yeah but i also understand the flip side of it where it's like yo for an entire week, 
Like she was literally only quiet the past couple of days. For an entire week, this woman has bullied. And we talk about how imperative it is for us to put a, uh, a stop to bullying. She has harassed. Her fans have harassed. Then they doxed the mom's gravesite. That's the, that's the killer, the doxing. And now this, uh, this cemetery has to increase the security because of a tweet, because information was released. This is what I mean when I say hobbies are needed. Somebody needs to be contacting Nikki. And you know, can we create a fan club? Can we partner, create a fan club, blah, 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 blah. Like use that energy. If you love, if you enjoy somebody like that, I've, I've been a part of fan clubs. I used to be in the Backstreet Boys fan club. You know, I was, yeah, I was back in the day. Yeah. Old school in the mail where you're just sending like little five dollars and they send you back stuff. It, was, it wasn't even like that. It was like more at that time. I was like middle school heading into high school, and so they uh it was more online. Okay. So you would get uh unreleased Emails music, and stuff. all that different stuff. It wasn't at I'm gonna say for the dollar amount, because it was like maybe like 60 or 70 dollars. I feel like we deserve more, but whatever. Um, you know, so this just speaks to people, us like sharing with people and, and being just being real about what happened. Because I do feel like that there's a the potential. Because think about it. Remember the Love album was nominated. Yeah. And you heard nothing yeah. about that, did you? Uh uh. The, I ain't even see the. I need to go back and see. Did they? Actually, no. even show him on the the when they no. like show the nominees. I I watched that R and B one for Coco Jones one for best. No, no, no. For best album was was Victoria Monet for best R and B album. Yes. So Coco got what best R and B song. Yes, and then got because I think Coco. I thought Coco got two, and then Victoria Monet got three. Yeah, because Victoria Monet got best new artist. Best R&B album, and then something else. Yeah, so I'm telling you, it wasn't there. Unless I missed it, and I blinked, and I missed it. I didn't see that name. I didn't see that album. I told you. I told you. But, but with the with the the Nicki thing, the uh, Killer Mike's album and song was so. And if and this is something maybe I think that has been changing a little bit within the rap category. The last few years, this rap album has been pretty real, like impactful albums and songs and stuff uh -huh. like where you like, oh no, this song like hit me like in a certain different way. So I don't yeah. know if people are voting differently, is what I'm saying. That's why I don't know if the Barbie thing, the Barbie may have won been able to win 10 years, five, 10 years ago, but I don't know in this current climate. Of those, you gotta remember when you win the, when you win a Grammy, you get to vote on Grammys. Then, so if you got the last couple of years, Nas then won. You got you know all these other real. They get a voting power in the category now. Yeah, so, um, I I will say, I yeah, I I mean, I and also I got I have a, I have a, this 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 another hot one right here. This one's gonna make the we gonna go two two. I'm, I'm calling it this statement right here. I'm gonna call it okay. Nicki Minaj is the Susan Lucci of rap music. Cause how many times has it took 17, Susan. 17 years in a row? 1979 to no 20 years, 1979 to 1999. Every year in the row, I think maybe two years she wasn't nominated at all. That's why I think it's like 17, technically. 1999 is the only, only year she got an Emmy for Best Soap Opera Actress. Then she was nominated. No, I thought, times no. Actually, no. I thought Susan Lucci actually just got that last year because it was a huge. I'm looking at it. 2000, uh, it's two, 1999. That's the year she got it. Only year. <laughs> then she was nominated three years after that. Didn't win again. So what did she get last year? Uh... Or a year before Maybe. that, or something, because I remember oh, it was a huge that. deal. Oh, just a uh, woman, uh, uh, lifetime achievement award. Okay, okay, yeah. But I'm supposed to actually when she was, they was in the the, the trunk 
1999. She lost every year. Outstanding lead actress in a drama series. All my children, if y'all, y'all, y'all younger folks don't remember how good all my children was. I was a soap opera kid. Y'all, I don't know if you knew, knew that. We, we, are, but see, I didn't like all my children like that. I was heavily, I, I, I am heavy, heavy. I was heavily invested in the Channel Four. So young bold and the bold and the beautiful, young and the restless. I was God in light. God in light. I was say God in light. Yeah, I watched and all. Then, I watched and then all of them. My, my, Guilty pleasure was passion. Passions. Was I knew he was gonna say passions. You are my passion. Boy. Passions was that was on NBC. That was on NBC though. But then yeah. um, I'm gonna say this. So when I but worked at the Grove, people turn into the Susan Lucci of Grammy or of the Grammy. Oh uh, well, we'll see. You know, but here's the thing. It goes back to our safari statement. You know, but also, I, and then we'll talk about this when we get into Beyonce and Jay. Why we? Why my fuckers keep giving a fuck? <laughs> We 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 like you said we gonna talk about it, but you know there's a there's a wild conspiracy theory that uh, Meg is caught in the crossfire uh, a beef that Beyonce right but of her be beefing, beefing with them. Uh, she really beefing with, with Rock Nation and not really Meg, but Meg is just the easier target. I mean, if she if she, if she that bad, that, if she that bad, she come after Beyonce. If she that bad. If Nicki Minaj, if you that bad, go after the queen. Well, they already said based on some lyrics that she already has. They said that because oh, really? people, that people were trying to misinterpret uh, Beyonce's savage lyrics. Where Beyonce says, if you want to see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. Oh, wow. So they said that that was a shot at Nicki. And I was like, or it could just be BBL. All the girls are BBLs, period. Yeah, I, I just, I, I was like, see, y'all reading into That's a weak stuff. one. That's a weak one. I was one. like, that's BBL culture. She she said, if you want, now, if you want a fake ass and you want an anaconda, then he was like, ooh, then you like, that's. Yeah, something. but it was like, it, to me, I was like, y'all really are overdoing it. And um, yeah, but that's what they're trying to say, that it, that's why she's really upset. Is that she mad because Beyonce and Jay Z really ain't fucking with her like that? So I mean, I I think it's kind of of a I think it's kind of a reach. I think it's kind of a reach, but I don't know. You know, I'm Team Beehive all day. Y'all see the shirt. Hey y'all! If you like what you see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to hit that button right there. It'll take you to more clips, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share our podcast. See you back next time.